guys. Scale here. Ah. Woo! Alright, no script on this one. This is gonna be just a quick- Oh my god, this game is loud. This video is gonna be a quick debong review of the- Well, the demo. It's not a full game. Yeah, okay, so it's a masterpiece. Uh, 100 out of 100 as a demo. As a game, 67 out of 100, obviously, because there's two cars here, it's not a full game. So yeah, we're just going to drive around and get some background footage while I talk about the game and the mechanics and my general opinions and thoughts on the game. I think Gems, a uh, single dev's done a wonderful job. Seems we've got a good community behind us. Uh, a lot of positive people, a lot of very artistic people as well, and autistic, uh, making liveries that look awesome. I have no fucking clue how they do that, but you know, to each their own. Okay, so we're going to talk about the biggest thing about this game, the vibe, the atmosphere, that 2000s, 90s. Japanese street racing vibe. The music choice fits so well and just emphasizes everything that you do. Especially when you're just running down the highway like this. I also love how we've got so many different camera options. So you really do get the choice. And you also get FOV options. And there's, you know, there's a good amount of option selections. The only thing that it's missing currently our key bindings. You aren't able to rebind keys yet, uh, and I think there's some issues with wheel wheel support. But I know that's being worked on. I am not looking where I'm going. Oh my days! I don't know how this car takes this corner. Oh, there's not enough room there. Another thing I love about the game, as you saw there, was the crash physics. It's really heavy, like Need for Speed Underground 2. Or most wanted, you know, you hit a, you hit a car or a truck like this, and it's just gonna, it's just gonna stop you instantly, which is great. I also like how it's old school. You have to actually drive to the places to race people. The CRT, the warm glow of the cutscenes. You know, it's a real beautiful atmosphere they've got going on here. Another system I really enjoy is the rep and the multiplier. I don't know if it's working perfectly at the moment. Mine's, when you reach max rep, it's kind of like, that's it. Uh, you can't really go any higher, so you don't get any side bet bonuses in this version. I don't know if he knows about it and he's going to work on it. Might as well do a boss race while I'm talking about these things. I'd love to know what you guys think about the game in the, uh, the comments. I'm looking forward to the Steam release, and the multiplayer especially. I'm just going to accept it, I can't be asked. Haggling, I've got everything that I need. Oh, I just realised I'm not in the fastest car, this will be interesting. This is uh, a cruiser, grade 4. Uh, 540 something, 46 horsepower. And the fact that it's set, it's set in Japan allows it to use the grading system, which makes the auction house a lot more interesting than it, w than it might necessarily be if it was set in like the UK, for example. You can actually see defects on a car instead of just, you know, buying sight unseen on fucking Facebook Marketplace and hoping for the best. Ending up with some rusty shitbox, as per. See, the sound cues there and the intensities. Intensities? Is that even a fucking word? The intensity build up. To the start of the race is great. The amount of times I jumped the start uh, when I first started to play, just how I wanted to get you know the timing right and not completely fuck it up was crazy. Uh, SK should be faster than me, I think. I'd hope so. He is kind of just chilling. 
the sense of speed you get in this game is really unparalleled to any other game I've played since 2005, 2009, the real OGs. So temperatures, they matter. Wheel temps, they matter. Your car's weights matter. Your car's downforce matters. You've got all these deep RPG-like mechanics in a game made by one man over the space of five or six years, I believe. It's just really amazing to see, especially compared to modern Forza, Need for Speed. It's just, it's just abysmal. I don't have not in this car. This is just my cruiser. This is just my Bing chiller. I also love the amount of interior decoration you can do. You put neon inside that I've done with this car. It's got pink neon. The fact that your temperature and your fuel doesn't reset after runs. So if you're in a, you know, best out of five, you've got to make sure you've got enough fuel don't overheat on one of the runs because it's going to carry over to the next run and you're going to be fucked. Yeah, there's a playlist to the OST for the tracks in this game on SoundCloud. I can't remember the artist's name, but it is in the Discord for those interested. Because they do have some bangers. The high risk, high reward system that this game allows for because of the wager and the in fact, it starts you off in debt, you know, to get the story uh, story moving. I think that's probably the most interesting way you could have done it. Almost like the Need for Speed Heat system, with losing your rep if the police get you. But instead of the police you're worrying about, it's the, you know, it's the Mafia. It's the Accuser. I'll come a fucking... I'll commit seppuku on your ass, I don't give a fuck. They'll roll up with 10 men. They're, they they just like that. I have no idea where SK is. I think he's on holiday somewhere. Chilling in the Bahamas. I'm surprised this car's doing this well, to be honest. I really did not build it for this. The actual vehicle physics is, as well are really well done. I let off the throttle. It stops understeer versus if I stay on the throttle and keep trying to turn. And also you can tell even when the car's drifting, which a lot of games get wrong in the cockpit view or on the bonnet, on the hood view as you fucking Americans would say. I mean, that's pretty much all I've got to say about the game. It's, it's a fucking masterclass. If you've got the funds to support it, go ahead. If you don't, well, you know... It's fucking... It's sick. I'm sure you'll find a way to get it. Fucking everything's on the internet. Right, that's the Gale. Safe.